So my lab is very interested in figuring out what the difference is between benign cancers, between cancers that you don't need to treat or that can be cured very easily, and fatal cancers, cancers which end up recurring, metastasizing, and causing patient death even with very aggressive treatment. And so we set out to analyze the genetic differences between these benign tumors and the very aggressive, very malignant tumors. And what we found was pretty surprising. So we looked at the presence of mutations in these two samples, mutations that commonly cause cancer, and we found that there wasn't very much of a difference in the types of mutations that these benign and these aggressive tumors had. However, when we looked at copy number changes in these same genes, we found a very significant difference. So copy number changes is when you have more of a gene or less of a gene, it changes the dosage of the gene, and we found that very aggressive, very malignant tumors tended to have a lot more copy number changes in these genes than benign tumors did, even when there were no mutations in these genes. And I think that this work is important because it suggests that looking at copy number alterations might allow you to better predict which tumors are more likely to be aggressive and which tumors are most likely to prove to be life-threatening to cancer patients.